hi everyone and welcome to this episode of building a chat app so in the last episode we have actually learned how we can add a chat or a room for our users to have a conversation in but in this video we are going to learn something that is more complicated but when we say complicated we mean that you are going to be taking your skills to the next level so let's jump right into it but don't forget to actually uh, subscribe to this channel so i want you to join the learn now community so you can learn no code in no time so you can do that by just clicking on the subscribe button and uh, also if you want to be the first one to be notified whenever i post something new or about learning no code and how you can develop your apps using flutterflow then don't forget to actually uh, turn on the bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming content so with that out of the way let's get into it so in the first step what we actually want to do is very simple so here in this page we want to have a list of chats so uh, i will just do something and then i will show you uh, what you need to do so first uh, thing that we need to do is to uh, add a backend call we want to check all the chats and show them here but under one conditions of course because we don't want to actually see the chats of other people right so i may have a chat with john and someone may have a chat with jack so we don't want to see his chats so so i can just create a collection it's gonna be the chats and a list of documents but there is a problem and uh, yes so we want to actually do a filter so we just want to see those where uh, the authentication user is a participant so if he's a participant of uh, let's say three chats in in and uh, let's say so for example let's say the user is actually a part of uh, three chats out of ten so he will be seeing only those three and not the other seven right so we want to do a filter we want to say that if still so if this list that is called participants id so if it contains if that array contains the the id of our you the authentication user if that was true so under one under this condition we can see some uh we can see those chats uh, this condition simply tells us that if the user is a part of the participants of a chat then he can sh see that chat right there so we can confirm we can confirm right so this is just the first thing but the thing that you need to understand guys is that uh so th there is a problem especially with the chats here so if, no it is here so if you go to chats so for each document we have a, a, a list of uh, so we have the participants ids which is a list and we have the participants names which is a list and we have a participants images and which is which is actually a list so with that in mind so uh if so let's say let's say for example we went here and if we went here and we want so what do you what do you usually see here you want to see uh the the name of the other user so if we have a conversation with jack you want to see jack not you but there's a problem if we go to the chat documents in the names we don't have one name we have a list so here is what you need to do so here so we are going to be using a custom code or a custom function that is going to be available from my coffee page uh you will find a link in the description but first guys uh, i want to actually uh, help you understand the idea so let's say the authentication user is jack right and this is a chat that is second place between Jack and John, right? And we're going to give their data. So let's say, for example, we want to give their name. We give it the name that is Jack and we give it John. This constant function will do a comparison. It will take so, or actually the result will be. So if the authentication user was Jack, then it will return the other one, right? But if the authentication user was John, then it will return Jack here. So what it does, so you can see the colors, right? It is not returning Jack because the Jack is already the authenticated user. So we are going to be using a custom function that will actually uh, uh, take this list and return only the other one. So the, the user that, that is not the authenticated user. So again, if the authenticated user was Jack, and he has a conversation with John so we can give the name both of them we can give it to a custom faction or, or this is going to be like a judge and it will actually return the name of the 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 user that is not that that he that is not the authentication user so guys if you don't understand you can watch the this part again so i will 
actually break this video into parts so you can uh, watch it if you like so uh, now let's actually move on and take a look at the custom code and how we can actually implement it in this app so guys what you want to do from here is to just add a new function and uh, and you can actually call it guest name so name so we are going to so i will show you first thing so for the return value it's going to be returning us just uh, one name right that is going to be the, the return value so there is no code by the way i will just uh, first give the arguments so what we are going to be doing is we are going to first giving it a list of strings it's going to be participants names so we are going to give it the participants names we are going to give it we are going to be giving it jack and john both of them right so and the next thing we are going to be giving is the name of the authenticated user so it can make a comparison so let's like this one so we're making a comparison we're giving it the we're, so this function knows who is the authenticated user and it will take a list of strings and it will do a comparison and it will return the guest name the other one not don't authenticated user this is the same thing that we are going to be doing here so uh, we're going to be actually giving it of username or the authentication username the same here we are giving we are we are telling the function who is the authentication user so it's going to return to us the right uh, value right so uh, that is it so we can just come here down here so make sure you modify the code in this uh, place so you can just paste that code uh, code right there so so here we have an errors because you saw that uh, I have uh, just forgotten so if we are going to be using a list it is it cannot be no so a list cannot be equal to zero right so just for the list do that and you can save the action or sorry for so you can save the function and now uh we can actually it will be compiled and we may want to run a test of it we want to test it we want to say let's say first so we want to first add we want to say for let's say we can say john jack and for so let's say Jack was the authenticated user. So now we are giving it a list of John, Jack, we are giving it the authenticated user. So what do you think it can be returning us? So it will return John. So I'm, I'm sure that it will be returning John. I hope that's going to be actually running here because sometimes you may face an issue when uh, or where the function is not going to run. So you see here it is returning the other one user because not the authenticated user which is returning the other one. So it is working very fine and now we can actually, so after we have actually guys understood how it works, now we can actually go and go to the next step where we are going to be trying that, right? So uh, let's do that. So guys, after we have understood the, the goal of the, of the custom code, which will be available from my description uh, or from my copy page and the link is of course in the description if you want to check it out so first things first so here so this is what i want to tell you so here instead of saying hello world so by the way here we want to say the the name of the guest right so we want to go here to the custom functions right and we want to go to the guest name the function will require us to fill out some things so for the list of participants names it is already inside the chat's documents we have participants names we can confirm and for authentication user it is from here the display name now the now here so f uh, you can just give it uh, something here as a random value but you will never use that anyway you can confirm now what's going to happen is that uh, the function will take uh, for this chat it will take the two people who are engaged inside that room and also the name of the authentication user it will do a comparison and return the one that is a guest so uh, this is just for the name but actually uh, you can use it the same you can use the same for the path but the difference is going to be in uh, so i'm going to show you the difference guys so we want me we may want you to duplicate that because we are going to actually somehow we are going to be using the same process is uh, except that uh, we are going to so instead of saying names and strings or just we want to change the names uh, into images or whenever you see name change it to image because we are going to be actually uh, given an image we want to see the image of that user in this page right so uh, we want to do the the, the necessary modifications uh, so first thing the first thing is to rename it so we want to rename that and then you can actually start replacing the names 
uh, with the images so name image and Im Im uh, names is going to be images so now you can just save it i have made the necessary changes as you can see here and so but for the string uh, it has to be an image pass and uh, uh, it's going to be also so it's going to be all of them are going to be actually images right none of them are, is going to be a string so keep it keep that in mind and you know that uh, it's still a string but anyway this is how it works so uh you c so you see that here i am choosing image pad and anyway you see string here but sometimes it doesn't matter because a link is or an image path is a string anyway so now we can use the same we can just go to this image and go to the path we want to see the image of the other one so first thing we want to go to uh, custom functions guest image we want to give it the two images that we have two images which is here inside the chat documents it is images and we want to give it our own uh, image or the image of the authentication user so now it can make a comparison and return the other one here it's going to be last message and here's going to be time of the last message which are going to be available in the next episode so uh thank you guys for watching i hope that you have actually enjoyed every single second you have spent on this video make sure you reach you review it again and uh, it is already broken into parts you can watch each part individually and try it individually make sure you always try what you learn don't just watch videos and don't be a passive learner be an active learner and uh, if you like my content and if you want to support me as a small creator and as your teacher you can do that from my copy page it is in the first link in the description so i highly appreciate your support and don't forget to share this with your friends and family so we can learn no code together so with that said thank you so much guys for watching and see you on the next video